Well, we're going to do um, duck season first, but first, welcome to Dead Dog Week. Oh, God. Shit. Yep, it certainly is Dead Dog Week. <laughs> I'm sorry. Dead dog week. I didn't remember. It's been a while. I forgot about that, huh? That is oh not, my God. That's not well, I mean, intentionally. You didn't kill the dog. Well, I watched him in the opposite way. So it's, uh, it's you know, on Tony Erdman's I mean, like, oh, sad dog died. This one's like, yeah. oh my God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No dogs were actually seen expiring yet. Yeah, yeah. there was a pile of a something that looked like a dog. You do know that uh, dogs and other animals are killed every day, right? Yes, of course. I try not to think about and it. Not just in Mexico. We try, yeah, right. we try not to think about it, right, Chris? We try not to think about it. All then we, well, and, then I, you, and then you watch a cute little indie comedy, and there's a pile of dead dogs. All yeah, of well, because it helps the story. Yeah, I yeah well, it does. Actually, I disagree it, with almost every word of that except for indie. <laughs> uh, all right, then. Well, let's hear it. I, and yeah, I mean, Ted, you're loaded for beer on this one. You want to go first? This um, right this now. is. Probably the worst movie you've picked for this show, and that's almost a statement. I know. That's I've I've been thinking about it. I'm gonna need to. I'm gonna need to meditate on it. But I might want to watch Naked more than I want to watch this. Oh boy. Oh wow. Um, wow. the it, 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 reaction definitely high up there in the worst thing I've watched for this show too. Um, I took a couple of notes and then I gave up. Um, so the notes are, uh, neither of these kids have ever played a video game before. I a hundred percent believe that. Oh, um, wait, hold on. Before you, before you stop right there, this is 2006. Is it still appropriate to that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sure. Like the Xbox they, that they're playing was from like the 2000. Late, yeah. Late 90s, early 2000s. Right. Yeah. The Halo, the first Halo came out in 2001. Um, you see them playing it. Were they doing it wrong? It's they literally like the way they are playing games demonstrates that they have no idea what they're doing and have never done this before. Like Does it's that matter it, though. It matters to me. Are it takes me it, out of the movie. You're saying that Drew took you out of the film. Yeah, these kids yeah. would these kids would know how to play games if they have one of these things in the house. Like th this isn't one of the th one of the things kids are very good at is learning new skills in this way and like they didn't and these actors didn't and it just was sort of like why like you don't need to have them playing games either like i don't think it adds anything to the movie um 12 minutes in still no jokes um the tv turns off like it was made in the 50s did anyone else notice that it's still the era of tube televisions but it's not just a tube. It turns off. It turns yeah. off in a star pattern. Mm -hmm. It right. doesn't turn off in a vertical pattern the way that um, modern modern t tube TVs did. Um, who the fuck orders a half mushroom, half salami pizza? Okay, this is getting picky. You. <laughs> it's all. This is all nitpicks. What's your yeah. real problem with the film? You don't think it's, it's boring. It's Okay, right. there we go. I completely okay. disagree. Okay. I'm watching. I'm I'm nitpicking because it's the only thing I can pay attention to because I don't give an absolute fuck about what's happening to any of the kids in this. Also, like maybe maybe the most telegraphed queer scene I've ever seen in my life. Like there's that whole scene in the beginning of him just staring at the other kid while he's changing his shirt, and it's like, oh, he's interested in him sexually. And then you finally you wait 80% of the movie to finally get that reveal. And then it just kind of goes nowhere. And it's like, all right, cool. I would agree with that. I would say that it sets up that and a, and a couple of other con conflicts. Right. There's no conflict in this movie. Either, that, but, but, well, it said it sets up potential for conflict that, I mean, he tries to hold his hand in one scene and he won't let him. That's the biggest. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, moment for them, for that relationship. Yeah, I mean, nothing is paid off. I mean, the, I would say the biggest emotional payoff to me was um, uh, Ulysses, the pizza guy, riding away with the duck painting on the oh, back. Oh, spoiler. This <laughs> fucking scene is so great. Oh, oh, okay. I love that ending. Okay. I, I uh, love everything about this movie. No, I, couldn't no, go, it go, go, go. I thought this was fantastic myself. I loved it. Fucking uh, love this why? movie. Why? What's good oh, about it? Okay. It's enchanting. Okay. Because it starts out a nice, it's quiet little thing. We, you think it's going to be a couple of kids playing video games. And it kind of builds and builds 
and builds, and you have the other characters coming in doing their thing. To everyone is what? Tell everyone's everyone, and the thing is, it's more of a mystery the first part of the film until the power goes out of what's going to happen. Then afterwards, you learn about all these characters. It, 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 their stories unfold in a very natural way. I thought. But it builds the girls to nothing. there trying to make nothing make happens. And the, it doesn't matter. It doesn't care. have to happen. It yes, happens it does. You, you have to let them. Some, there has we're, to be we're something. Here to experience. Why this. are we watching it if nothing happens? I enjoyed spending time with these characters in this situation. I, I like learning about cool. them. I I the vibe about... was cool. I like the actors. I like yeah. their personalities. Is I like the movie more interesting. Is the movie yeah. more interesting than a video of the actors having lunch together? I don't uh, think it's so. It's about the same. And of course, it's not conflict free. The whole thing about trying to get a free pizza was, hey, very long and interesting you know, kind of a, uh, a conflict. It was a, just a, the it's guy a was going to leave. They paid. They had to do that. that is a conflict. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. I think is, just... you don't know where it went. And it went to a. It got to a flashpoint where the kid got his hand cut. And then it kind of like then you start spilling out a bit about their lives and well then they start pairing off yeah they start pairing off a little bit that was kind of that was kind of nice I, 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 the girl looked a lot older than she probably is supposed to be like that, to be if I was gonna nitpick that would be my she looks like she's what twenty some twenty two yeah she's Maybe. supposed to be sixteen or something yeah yeah. Mm -hmm. But that oh, that was kind of that was kind of squishy but uh, yeah that was uh, that's uh, but I, I again I think that's vibe and I was just normal was telling. Fun. Uh -huh. That's just normal for movies. Like the boys look the age they were the supposed boys to. Boys look the age that they're supposed to be. Okay, okay, Jim, have you figured out what this film is a comedy parody of? No. The Exterminating Angel. Oh, because they can't leave, but yeah, the Louis Benoit film, where people go into a, in a house and they don't leave. <laughs> they, they, they physically all can't. They just can't. can't leave. Kind of, they find reasons not to. Leave. It's like the doors vanish. They're just there and going around and around like that until oh, I heard that. Uh, I but um, the cinematography. Yeah, what's her really name? Isn't Budwell. You no, know, but still, it's, it was. It's was probably made a few blocks from where this apartment building is. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it kind of reminded me of like the first time I saw like a, you know, Spike Lee. She's got to have it, or or sex, like like a director's first film where they're like they're given a camera, like oh yeah, I get, I get to make a movie. And what I, this, I coasted along on the good vibe. I like, like I said, this movie is all vibe. The, the cinematography, the charismatic characters, the music was good. I think I, the cinematography really, is really good. Like I'll I, absolutely give it that. I thought that, you know, and it was just sort of like a little window in, like I said, you know, I think I talked about this when we were talking about um, that movie, those movies Jim picked about the, 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 the guys down in Mexico who get swept up in the drug war. Like it's sort of a window into, you know, I don't watch enough Mexican movies, clearly, because all the ones that I see, I like. And it, <laughs> when, I, when I'm watching them, I feel like I'm getting a little window into a corner of the world that I don't see enough of. Well, it's very yeah, tell me what's yeah, but remember, it's it's living in Mexico, it's like an apartment right? living here, basically. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's just like yeah. you have the same products, same brand, same uh, uh, distractions, same apartment everything. Apartment living everywhere is the same. Exactly, like, pretty much. Yeah, 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 it's, it's, this could be sure. in Europe or Japan. I don't need a I don't need a movie to tell me that. I know, I've lived in enough apartments. Yeah, exactly. But um, <laughs> one thing is that I will I'll tell you that one thing because I'm strange. This film won me over because the opening credits were trying to kill me. Oh God, they were so they were so out. slow. Oh, <laughs> oh slow. I mean, this movie's oh, like. like I said, I said, you fucker, you're just trying to burn off screen time, aren't you? It's yes. Like, I, I, and it's still, it's only 90 minutes. I know, and they got I there. I with you on that one, Scott. I'm like, holy shit, like you're already like in a hole with me. Just yeah, get exactly. To, get was, to the fucking... Was, yeah, but, haven't anybody learned movie credits now like take... They're, they're either non-existent or they take like five seconds. Right, exactly. So like, eventually, the, then they did the montage, which was behind you for a second of the outside the building. I like that. It was yeah. kind of nice. It kind of established a mood, but then when you know once things got got going, oh, <laughs> this is also I think reminding me of a tiny bit of like a low budget Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Yeah. Yes, except only because at the end you know that kid's going to be thrown out the window for destroying the apartment. Oh my <laughs> god, they're going to be in so much trouble. I know, and you never yeah, see yeah. it. You never see it. <laughs> But he doesn't give a shit. Back. Although, yeah, <laughs> technically, nobody in Mexico ever gets their deposit back. <laughs> I, what I don't understand is wh where did all of those things that they shot came from, and they still have all those plates on the wall at the end? 
Well, they right. never shoot the ones that are obvious targets, which are those oh, that arrangement on the wall. That's what I'm saying. No, they they're shooting them off the, the shelf yeah. instead. There's one more on the shelf. His mom really likes plates. How many fucking plates does this <laughs> woman have? <That> is, <laughs> holy shit. If this was shot in America table. now, it would be those signs that say live, laugh, laugh, love. love. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> shooting those off the wall. Shooting up, shooting up a, a, a TJ Maxx home goods section. Right. Like, right. Also, you think about it, it's reverse engineered. They probably set up the set with a bunch of plates, just like you knew later on. They got the arrogant rifle out. It's like, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> also, was, weirdly, oh, given the age difference, I bought, I sort of bought these two. Me too. I mean, if she's, really, if she's really 16, it's just a three-year age difference, which would definitely yeah. would be a flirt. Yeah, uh, and she's only just 16 yeah, yeah. It's today. Her birthday. It's her birthday. She's 15. Right, she's 15. it's her birthday. Right. Yeah. So you, another, another comparison, because we talked about Spike Lee. We talked about Louis Bunuel. I was thinking, this is like uh, Jarmusch's Strangers, Stranger Than Paradise. Totally. Yeah, a lot, quite with, a bit. Oh, with 13, oh, it's the love triangle thing with 13 yeah, year olds. Yeah, definitely. Ooh. Definitely. But it's not a love triangle. It's not a love triangle, but it's a trio of two men and a, two males and, two, and a female. And it was kind of fun. We had to kind of had to tell it's, us. It's actually a love there's circle. Three, yeah, there's three, there's three yeah. dances in this movie. Yeah, so, no, right, but he's not. Fortunately, he's not involved. The, right. this guy is not involved in any of that. Any of it? Thank God, good. that was going to be creepy. Which was not. It was a good balance to strike. You know, it's not a Jared he's a, pick. He's a grown he's up, still and, recovering he, from he, all the dogs he had to kill. He, right. he, that, that he was a grown up. But he also came in and started talking about some real grown up problems, which is interesting about like his bad job and the cute dog with the mark on his head. Oh, well, it was a safe space to confess. I mean, what are these yeah. kids not going to? You know. That's a good, honestly, good if they just point. if That's I didn't see the pile of dead dogs, that that whole sequence was actually really great in a, as his backstory. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, I I didn't know what this was going into it. The credits were a little too long, and so I was grumpy by the time they they ended. But I got over it real really fast, and I just like I think the whole thing was fucking charming. Uh -huh. I was I was charmed by it as just well. Kept digging that hole for me. Uh -huh. cool. Also, this kid, this kid, um, they had to tell us at some point in the film that he was a redhead. Because yeah. it's a black and white film. Yeah. It's like once I knew that, it was like that's all I could see. <laughs> you can see the freckles in the close up, and it's like, oh, you know, attached thing, and he's the fact he's adopted. <laughs> it's like teasing about the fact yeah. he's adopted or something. Oh, I don't think he's adopted. I don't think so either. Yeah. <laughs> that's how <laughs> genetics God. work, right? Mm. I'm I, 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 redheaded kids. I think the I I think the uh the redheaded waiter in uh yeah. Acapulco yeah. is uh, his right. dad. Yeah, yeah. Probably, it sure. happened to my cousin, man. I, I, who sure. doesn't watch the show? Thank God. But yeah, he's uh, he's <laughs> like also, he's also a redhead in a family of kids that been darker hair people. It's like, yeah, found out about that later on when I was like, mm -hmm. when I was older. <laughs> so how'd you, you like the movie? What? How'd you like the movie? Uh, I found it. Uh, I didn't hate it as much as Tad did. Uh, oh, that's I found it uh, an enjoyable little romp as a first movie. It seemed perfectly okay. It was I looked the guy up because you know it's like a bottle episode. It's all yeah. in that apartment. I looked up the director. He's made two more films since then, and it, from the plots on IMDb, it sounds like almost the same plot. Same oh, really. Like, maybe it's <laughs> really cool. Uh, well, Coron <laughs> has you seen this in the post. theater, John? Yeah, I saw it. Okay, so I was playing a game with you guys today. A little bit of um, uh, is this movie festival good or actually good? Because I saw it at New Directors New Films in two thousand and five, and there's that glow you get of being you're at a film festival, you're excited, you know, and then the, probably some of the filmmakers are there or the the actors, and so you watch something and you've definitely got a more forgiving attitude and a little more enthusiasm you bring to everything. So yeah. that. Um, an okay movie could become a good movie. A good movie could become a great movie. And then you have to look back at it, you know, a year later or more and go, hmm. So we played the game. J Tad didn't enjoy the game, but I guess the rest of you guys pretty much did. So, well, we know without benefit of being in a film festival, being in some sort of like a haze, right? It's been, this film's been out for over a long time. Yeah. And, uh, so and I just... didn't think it was quite as good as I remembered it, but I still thought it was kind of fun and, and a little slow and kind of charming. I didn't. I, I thought the pace after a while picked up when this, you know, the dialogue got better. But yeah, uh, I guess my my threshold, my pain threshold, watching these things at home for this show is totally different. Oh well, yeah, because so, you can pause things. That's true too. Was it two hours and forty three minutes long? <laughs> we'll get to that. Uh, that's. <laughs>
that's Cat another Holmes. film. <laughs> but uh, no, it's a nice, tidy little film. Um, and uh, you know, the duck thing was cute. You know, that yeah. Was... I mean, I yes, I, I, I oh, thought. I, don't I, much, I, I love the end. Uh, that last shot, the way the music kind of yeah. comes kicks in as he's driving away. Mm -hmm. Did anyone else? So everybody getting high was great too. I this is part that. of no. Everyone getting high. I love that. Part. Was terrible. Why? Did anyone else what? Because it was boring. Like no, did, again, uh, it, you know, when I started to see it, and because of the picture, you think duck season, like you're hunting, right? Mm -hmm. But in Spanish, it's actually the ducks are in estrus. <laughs> right. Is, is that, that, is that, is that, that what the title means? means? Yeah. Oh no, it's kidding. The time, oh, the ducks the are in season. It's, it's, not, oh, it's the time. It's the see, time of it's the time we, of the ducks. The time that, of the ducks. That, time see, of that the makes sense. Yes. Okay, uh -huh. well, something revealed, man. Yeah, I yeah. thought it was a reference to the Warner Brothers cartoon. Or just <laughs> yeah. general shooting ducks, but no, right, yeah, really. That, that. But that, guess, that works on two levels, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah kind but, of. Yeah. I just I think I like I think that this movie suffers from the fact that it's better made than what it is. Like, yeah, that scene at the end where he's driving away with the, the painting on the back of the moped is like, there's a better movie hiding in the walls. Like I, I, I there is definitely talent in terms of like acting, directing cinematography. I don't really like the music, but whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, Like I, I think all of those things shine a magnifying glass on the fact that I think this is a bad script and a bad story. Like it, 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 the, the, the lack of stakes and the lack of interesting character development and stuff like that it is so much brighter to me for seeing all the things that are good about the way that it's made and I'm sorry, I come to movies for story and conflict and character development. Like that's, if if not, then why aren't we just watching Bacara every week? Well, you know, it's just I think it's just kind of the the the, the blind man and the elephant thing. We I think we're both getting different things out of this. What you're what, what the things you say lacking, I actually think it's really rich in, which is interesting, and that's just how it is. And know? I would just argue that huh? this is a movie that no one had any expectations of, starring brand new talent they probably didn't have very much money and to say this is like the worst thing we've seen on the show when that jack lemon thing that john picked exists where oh yeah well yeah see that's so everybody needed to fucking knew little, better he said everybody knew for, better they had yeah. all the resources in the world and they still yeah yeah, yeah john has a high team. bar for the lowest bar or whatever it is how it works that's where i was like no nah, man the people that made it, if i really hate something it's because the people that made it fucking knew better an interesting I, 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 it's an also better than the cat movie that john chose <laughs> like that's that. not really a movie no it's a tv hour also this is right that's no it's not that's this isn't even yeah, a, is it it is a an, movie yeah, excuse yeah. me excuse me it is an abc tv after school so special that's right which <laughs> there were dozens in the 70s all right all right the, 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 the thing is when ted right, was that's talking, literally where we got i learned it from you okay huh? Yeah, yeah. Earlier, when, when, earlier when it Ted was, was shot was, on was, film and it was edited, it was a, it's a yeah, it was in, it was in yeah. focus, but it wasn't in color. But when Tad was do, uh, uh, using his flamethrower earlier, I, I have an idea. Then I'm gonna throw it by Tad first. What if this was the first part of a trilogy? What if he come back in a couple of years and that kid who went to Morelos visits his friend Ooh. Ooh. and maybe reignite something, and the girl's gotten a little older, and that, maybe this, maybe the the pizza the guy is doing something Ooh. else. And they have kind of a weird reunion, like a little you, bit like you know, the you then you have E2 Mama Tambien. Yeah, a little bit. And then you do it again <laughs> another time. They remember it's a little older yeah, and a little bit more into, into the that life. Doesn't end and too she, well for and her. she died of cancer. That doesn't work <laughs> went too well for her. Yeah. Yeah. But, the thing <laughs> is, but the thing is, I didn't hate um, uh, Before Sunrise. Like, I liked it better after watching the other two. But I didn't start out not liking it. That's funny. I, that's, that was what I actually had the most irritating. That actually I started liking it more and more. It's weird. <laughs> well, no, but that's what I'm saying. Like I, I didn't wear you down, Scott. I didn't uh. hate. I didn't hate that movie. I hate this movie. Uh. So, like, if you're telling me we're going to come back and we're going to watch these characters again in six years or ten years or whatever, my response to that is why? Like, I don't care. Like I didn't care about them this time. I don't feel like I'm going to care about them next time. Like I didn't find these people annoying. I found them pointless. All right. Well, can't think of a better reason yeah. not to go to thumbs. At this I was point. thinking, you know, it'd be interesting like, to do the second movie as sort of uh, Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead. 
where you have a whole nother movie on the flip side. That just, <laughs> it's like, it's a movie, it's about the guy who runs the pizza shop. And the mom, what the mom's right. doing. Or what the mom's doing. Or what's the mom doing. Or what the girl's parents are doing instead of celebrating her birthday. Uh, yeah, right. The guy who lives in the apartment below them. Shut the fuck yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> those air guns are fucking loud, uh -huh. too. Yeah, like, exactly. Those Also, I don't believe either of those kids could cock that air gun. Uh -huh. But... <laughs> All right, this is it. I liked it. Me too. Very. I was. I was one over. God was charming. 